we're baldering again. Let me pull up my stream chat. <clears throat> Make sure everything looks good. stream day. I'm officially out of control. I'm officially a streamer. Two stream day streamer. <laughs> Don't know that I've ever done like a weekend night before, so we'll see how much people turn up. Hello, Gaylord Nito. How's it going? It's a rare evening stream for me. Good to see you again. How's your night going? Still have the uh, promo from Nightbot in the chat from uh, our guest from earlier today in today's show, Jersey Noah. anybody uh, wants to check out his awesome uh, pro Palestinian work uh, not related to the stream we're doing today but you know gotta rip it just doing homework cool well that's that's perfect have a little background noise for your homework sleep apologist <laughs> that's a great name I appreciate you doing some streams at different times love time theft today but starts around 6 a.m. for me in Australia oh my god yeah um, our guest last week Cassie goes queerly is coming from Aotearoa so um, or Aotearoa, I don't know. I, might, I think the, the R is kind of more like a D, Aotearoa. Um, so that's big time difference. Uh, when they joined us, it was already tomorrow morning. Saturday morning for them. Friday afternoon for us. Um, and they were, they were really doing us a solid by logging on at that time. So I wish there was a time zone that worked well for everybody, but it's tough. It's tough to manage, but we had a really great time theft today, uh, live stream today with my friend Jersey Noah, who does a lot of really cool pro-Palestinian actions with JVP and other groups out of the Bay Area. So that was a really, really great, heavy, serious, important conversation about just balancing activism with being autistic as shit and finding it very exhausting to go to meetings and stuff. So that was great, and I tend to go out on weekend nights, but I have not been feeling it lately. I've been feeling more cozy, so here I am, all, all tucked in with some more Baldur's Gate in a second. I have the Twitch integration <coughs> properly set up now where people will be able to vote on my decisions in the game, which I'm excited to see how that works. I think I have to hit some kind of button to activate it. I'm not totally clear on how that works, but um, it would be fun to have a little uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. Uh, oh, got a pop-up for the integration. Okay, cool. That's interesting because I don't see it. Um, oh, wait, there it is. Oh, my gosh. I see it now, and I hover over the thing. Um, oh, my God. So you can... And it already has all my information about my about my guys and my stats and my cantrips. Oh, my God. So y'all can... you Y'all can help my uh, pitiful ass on a whole new level now that the um, plug-in is there. Because um, <laughs> you can look at all my quests and stuff. Hello again, Gavin. Good evening. 
<laughs> We're chilling. Yeah, I think mobile Twitch is ass. It's kind of, um, you just hover over the screen, and then on the left-hand side of the Twitch screen, there's a little, um, Baldur's Gate kind of UI that you can use. But... But mobile is really shitty, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's just, like, impossible to activate over, over mobile. Um, I usually go out on Fridays, but I strain my foot walking too much in Chicago, so I'm excited to chill with some Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I'm kind of at the same energy tonight. Like, I usually try to go out. I go to Roscoe's to watch Drag Race most nights. Uh, most, fr most nights. Most Friday nights. Um, and... Uh, you know, because they do a live show with lots of, like, drag queen commentary and stuff. Um, and then sometimes I'll dance afterward. But, oh, my God, last weekend, I was hitting it hard. Like, you were here. Another friend of mine was in town. I, I was I was on my feet all weekend. So now I, I wanted to be a little cozy with it. So we're, we're keeping it low-key together tonight. Oh, thanks to Argyle. Thanks for lurking on the stream. It was, it was great. Um really great important stuff um an orc hobbitist who's your top companion so far i actually would say shadow heart um believe it or not you'd think i would like asterian most of all but i'm i'm competitive with him <laughs> because he's you know he's the other twink uh, i like him a lot he's obviously a really great uh performance so over the top hard not to love but i like shadow heart's look i like her moody goth girl vibe i i I like how difficult she is with me. I feel like there's just a nice chemistry with like her character interacting with her. And I'm also um, really excited now. I just added the uh, the companion, the um, the black guy with the eye, the one eye that's like gray. Um, I don't know his name yet, but he's at camp. Um, and I like him. I like his look. I assume that he would be like a similar uh, character type to Will. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Will, I like him. I like his look. I like his swag. I like his... I assume he's like a bruiser, like Lazel, um, and I like her, but I might have to switch her out for a little bit just because I do want to want to play around with him, um, and I I'm definitely gonna try to seduce him, um, but I think I might try to um, fuck Shadowheart too, um, so we'll see, and obviously we're gonna have some twink sapism with um, with Asterion at some point. Will and Shadowheart were both mains for me the whole game. Hell yeah. Yeah, I like both of them, and also, like, having a healer is so, so fucking clutch. Like, so important. Um, so yeah, um, let's, let's hop into it. I can already hear my computer fan just humming. Let me close Google Chrome. One less thing. To just demand all of my RAM. Anarcho Hobbitist, yeah, it is a very good name. We got a lot of good names in this um, in this chat, typically. Um, I also have a beverage. I wish Chicago was here because they're the resident um, can aficionado. But uh, this is a sparkling new fashioned from two chicks whiskey, spicy ginger, orange cocktail. Um, I bought these last or two weekends ago because I was trying to impress. Um, a couple that was coming over uh for a threesome and then i but then when they, i asked them what they wanted to drink they wanted angry orchard so instead of drinking this uh we drank angry orchard um so now i'm gonna actually pop into one of these because it is still this weekend re weekend so ooh, coconut stout oh i love like like a creamy decadent stout um, there's this, uh, or like any kind of like, I almost say gourmand, but that's a type of fragrance, not a type of alcohol. Um, but I love like, there's this like sticky toffee pudding ale at, um, Lady Gregory's that I really fucking love. Hey, artistic bum. Yeah. Double Devin DDs over here. <laughs> um, in rare form. I used to find streaming so, uh, draining to like be on all the time. And now it's like not at all. So we're going to balder on some gate. Ooh, this is nice. This little orange whiskey. Not too strong. 
And I do have the drink alcohol redeem turned on. Um, so feel free to use that, though I will also just actually be drinking alcohol. Um, so yeah, so so let's get into it, shall we? Um, feel free to let me know in the chat what kind of stuff you're getting onto uh, this weekend. I won't say this evening, because it's not evening for all of you. Oh, thank you. Uh, cheers, Artistic Bob. And um, I already mentioned this uh, a few minutes ago, but for people just joining, the uh, Twitch integration for Baldur's Gate is turned on, so you can check that out um, and vote on decisions that I make once I figure out how to turn it on. But you can also use it if you're on desktop to like look at my character stats and stuff. Um, it's very cool, actually. And our cohabitus. I'm playing Disco Elysium and going axe throwing. Ooh, that's fun. I have never gone axe throwing. Oh shit, I need to I need to pause immediately because I'm in the middle of a battle. I'm about to get wrecked. Um, and it's scaring me. Um, okay, so hopefully everything looks good. Let me know if anything's weird. Audio should still be the same as it was last time, so that should be in good shape. And where last we left off, I was trying to sneak up on a bugbear and it caught me so we're fighting um what else are people up to jesus christ superstar oh that's really fun i do really like that musical especially like um the judas uh song it fucking bangs so hard i love a like villain song quote unquote uh gavin the, there's a pro-palestinian protest here tomorrow so hoping my foot is okay to go to that cool yeah there's some cool actions coming up here that i'm excited for um never been axe throwing but it's for a friend's birthday thing but i'm very excited i tend to want to do carnage uh, i want to throw knives i want i want to throw axes but then when i when you put a weapon in my hand i'm so fucking scared um so yeah let's let's get into it uh <laughs> speaking of um so I'm fighting this this bugbear. Um, I'm at a disadvantage because I got the low ground. I'm frightened. I guess I just gotta climb up One day I'll catch and take it. 27 health. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> this is not a good time. And I don't have Shadow Heart right now um, because she got s stuck in the elevator <laughs> over here, uh, and I didn't come get her back because I'm very silly. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna be in for it. Artistic Bum Cat sitting for a couple of people currently watching the new look. I do not know that show. Okay, I'm gonna end my turn. Oh, and I'm I'm literally dead. <laughs> this sucks. I did not save. If you click her avatar on the left, you can control her and bring her into the fight. Oh. Oh my god, really? What girl, what are you doing? Thank you so much, Anarcho Hobbitus. I don't know if I can because oh maybe this lever will do it. Because I need her desperately. Assume that's going to bring down the elevator. Girl, come over here. We, must keep going. we need you. That's good. I'm glad I can just leave my homies rotting <laughs> while I'm doing this. Uh, my dad created an axe throwing knives area for my parents' backyard. True carpenter dad shit. That's cool. That's fun. Okay, that didn't do anything. Did I pull this? Presumably not. Yeah, I think she's out of the game for now. Unfortunately. I'm gonna die. There's so much of my blood on the ground. This is so bad. I mean, I guess there is another way around, right? But I think it's very, very convoluted. And I probably should just load a save. But I don't have a recent enough save that I feel good about it. So, <laughs> so we're... We're fucked over here, y'all. Uh, but we'll try. Every fight that I've gotten into so far has just been <laughs> so wretched. Let's see, can she dash up here? Yes. So at least there's that. Save me, Lazel. We're nothing. We're nothing without you. We're so fucked. And I'm gonna have to end turn though, I think. Unless, uh, what can I do here? Action surge. Let's do it. Fuck it. Uh, and then do I use that on myself? Okay. And now I can attack him. Uh, rush attack, ranged attack, astral knowledge. 
made hand attack. Let's try that. And I missed. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's going real good. <laughs> going real good so far. Let's, uh... Oh, God, it's only a... That's not good. Let's, uh, let's run. Can we run over here? Provokes attack of opponent. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, this would use an action, but you might be able to use Lazel's Mage Hand to pull the lever. I don't know how far you are, though. Oh, hmm. I don't think I have that ability, but I wouldn't know, <laughs> necessarily. Um, Mage Hand. I do have Mage Hand. Okay, good to know. Uh, good to know. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna... This is stupid. I, I should move instead of... God, we're just all about to get slaughtered over here. This is so bad. Oh, oh. Now the now the other twink's almost dead. Oh, can I can I attack? Can I do anything? No, I don't. I'm gonna shove him. <laughs> no, he's too heavy to shove. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna end turn and just die. Guess I'll die. Oh, God. This is so bad. They're all gonna die. We haven't even hit him yet. I have not even hit him. Topple. Yeah, let's try toppling. Oh, that's only a 40% chance of success. That's no good. That's no good at all. Nothing that I have does much damage. It's not good. Other than this fireball. And I missed. Slick. I guess because he's just... He's just way more powerful than us, so... He's just kicking my ass at everything. Twink death. <laughs> Literal twink death. You're so right for that. Too heavy to shove. Alright, I already knew that. And turn. Okay, just kill me. Oh, Lazel. Lazel, I need you. I need you to not fucking miss on this one. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here's a question I do have. If I take everybody, can... Let's say that both twinks die, and miraculously Lazel lives. Um, could I just go to camp and like revive people without using a, a an actual like scroll or revivify or, or anything? Or I guess I could just still use Shadow Hearts like abilities outside of combat, right? All right. What's going on here? Oh, man. And I don't have any self-healing shit. And I really don't have that many healing potions either. I don't want to use them. Let's do another fireball. 25%? Oh my god. Worthless. It depends on what kind of dead they are. So right now you can be helped up, but if you are dead dead, you need the revivify. Okay. Right. Yeah, because I'm like... Just out. That's right. Threatened and downed. Oh, I like that the threatened logo is like a, like a mastodon, like a, like a threatened animal. Oh god, this sucks. If we had gotten a little sneak on him, I, I think we could have done it. And if we had our healer, I'm running away. You roll the two die and take the lower of them. Also, when you stand close to the enemy, you get threatened and you're rolling at disadvantage. Oh, so I'm like scared, and fucking up. That makes sense. And that is how it would be for real. Lacerate. So that's why everything's such dog shit odds. Even from some close. We could almost get him. If she just does not die. <laughs> but who else is he gonna attack? Shit. <laughs> what am I what am I doing? I'm sure I can't shove. Oh I can shove him. Okay, fuck it. Yes, okay, now I got a little space. Uh, but but not for long. I could do it, heal. I don't want to use my items. <laughs> I don't want to use my items for this stupid shit. Oh, fuck. I think I can't use a healing item, right? Yeah, I don't have enough resources now. Uh, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to run away. 
Uh, buy myself a little time. Lazel has a heal action. Oh, that's right. Second wind. Okay, well, it can't use it now, but next turn, if I'm still alive, I will. Um, okay, 40% chance. Let's go for it. Let's pray. Oh, yeah. We missed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, what else can I do? Can I do anything? Not really. I'm like... Oof. Okay. All right, Lazel. Both of my twinks are down. Okay, I should heal myself first. She seems to have been holding up better to attacks anyway. And... She just needs to get one more good hit in. Ooh! Oh! Oh, we did it! A character has escaped death and is stable but unconscious. They will wake up when they regain hit points. Take a short rest, heal them, or use the help action. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Ooh, you guys. I did not think I was gonna make it. I really did not. Uh, let's, let's hit a short rest. Now, forward. Oh my god. Ooh, that's great. What a relief. That was a little bit of a reach, I guess, obviously. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Basic poison, uh, candle, gold, and a morning star. Beautiful. <laughs> Emergency, all twinks are down, but Pevin has persevered. Yeah, the twinks had a little too much fun at the club, but, you know, we, we made it. And I didn't waste any items on my stupid actions. Uh, so that was that was good. That feels good. Oh, I'm, I'm proud of us, everyone. I'm really proud of us. Um, and now I think I'm going to look at my inventory because we have all this. We have all this stuff. And I have not been really equipping stuff. Okay, so she can't use that morning star that I have. Or is it just on my person? So if I wanted her to use it, I would have to like give it to her. Let's see. So she has this long sword. So that's not any better. Crossbow. That seems to be better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that on over there. Or wait, take this off take the long wait this is a short bow this is the long cross light crossbow goblin bow yeah this seems to be better so i'm gonna do that for my ranged weapon long sword okay wait so wait right now do i have a dagger equipped is that what that is no i have the long sword equipped okay that's better uh da, da, da. have anything that he can use right now. showing all equipment y'all if I'm if I am being dumb and I have to like bring an item over to a specific character to be able to equip it for them let, let me know and thank you for your patience with me oh yeah it must be the case because I have everything it must just be who literally picks it up see if I can use this morning star or no it's about right clicking will let you send it to them okay okay send to person great thank you perfect okay so right now I have this staff I got a lot of shit so there's probably something I could use that's better than the staff javelin quarter staff is actually better here uh, scruffy vagabond clothes 
destitute clothes, rags, leather armor, light armor, same, same stats there. Gloves of power. I don't have any gloves on, so let's, let's do that. On a hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls. It's slaving, uh, slaving throws. Cool. Cool, cool. Simple robe. Yeah, no, my leather armor is better than a lot of the other stuff I've got. Hand axe. Not proficient with simple weapons, so I should not be going to axe throwing night. Here. What are? Action what does she have? Four to thirteen. Long sword. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Those are my little shoesies. Tasteful boots, elven shoes. Sorcerers are generally not good with weapons. At future will level ups, so you'll be able to give them different weapon proficiency if you want, though. Okay, cool. Um, and right clicking will let you send it to him. Oh, yeah, we already talked about that. Cool. Well, then let me just send some of my shit to other people. I'm pretty good. Oh wait, sorcerer robe. Okay. No, nope, that seems like the armor I have on is kind of the best stats wise of anything I've got right now. Uh, what, is she, what is she wearing? She, yeah, she's already got full, whole ass armor on, so she doesn't need that. Uh, Longsword's still better. And this morning star. Okay, I think that's. I think I don't really have anything that's like too exciting for anybody right now. All right, let's let's get back to to getting Shadowheart and then getting our way deeper into the grove, which was our goal in theory here. Uh, digging up this dirt mound is what got the bugbear yelling at me before, but it looks like I like failed on that or something. So. All right, next time, this time we're going to make sure everybody is on the platform before it comes up and down. Oh, wait, we can switch to Shadowheart. She can get her ass up now. If you get a shovel, those dirt mounds usually have loot. I did have a shovel. Oh, that's because I'm not being Pevin right now. Time to rest. I'm, if I'm driving Pevin, then I can dig up the mound. <laughs> this is one of those things that, like, when I have played actual tabletop games, like, keeping track of, like, who has what item, like, there's some part of my brain that's like, well, you know one of us has it, why isn't that good enough, you know? And I get, like, annoyed. Was I just holding it before and now I'm not? Or did it does it only have, like, one use or something? I had a shovel, because I have dug these up before, and I remember picking it out. See it in your inventory. Yeah. I don't need to hold it or anything. Okay, weird. Okay. Well, that's weird. I know that I did, like, miss a check walking by it at first, and that I was trying to dig it up when the bugbear heard me and came and was mean to me, so I don't, I don't know if that's a factor or not. But, but we shall see. Okay. So, let's see. Do we need to go? They said deeper into the grove is where, like, Kaga and the uh, the healer that we're looking for and I think maybe the, the mayor of the druids is. So it looks like we can kind of keep wandering around down this way, so. Let's, let's do that, I guess. We got a little turned around last time.
also let me know how Disco Elysium is going. What what kind of mess you're getting yourself into right now with that? Oh, am I like turned around in my brain? I guess I'm not like actually facing the direction I'm facing in the map. So I need to like turn around the other way. that like matches that right because I don't want to be over here we've talked to these to these chaps and this seems to end over here and this is how we came up here because that's that battle that we had that got us in here so I'm not really sure how I get to go deeper in I will report back on the next stream I just started today and haven't made it very far yet oh well the coaching that you're providing to me I could provide to you on Disco Elysium uh, so we need a little skill share of sorts um, because Oh my god, I just I just love Disco Elysium. The cops are coming for me, uh, as you can hear. Um it's it took me a while to get a hang, the hang of. When I first played Disco Elysium, I was high as shit and I picked a really um high intelligence, low empathy build. Um so like a very autism build. And what do you know? There's a lot of like emotional and facial uh, nuances in that game that you have to be able to understand in order to make any progress and uh you know if you if you can't read people's facial expressions you're kind of fucked so i struggled um and i died lifting a barbell uh, and that was very sad and then i did a build after that that was a high empathy build and that was very nice. It was like um, wish fulfillment, where like you mean you can just look at someone and guess whether they're lying to you? No way, you know. Um, that was very cool, and all kinds of uh, shenanigans ensued. I'm so turned around. I don't know how to move forward in this map. I feel like Disco Elysium is a nice mix of Citizen Sleeper and BG3 in gameplay style. I did a pick a pre-build for my character i chose the thinker the thinker yeah let me tell you you think that's what you want because you're like oh i'm a detective i want to deduce things oh no not even not even close like the thinker is probably the hardest build um to really like progress with um physical abilities are useful visual calculus is useful um empathy and persuasion is useful yeah, being intelligent does not bode well for you in this game. I'm, I'm sorry to say. Okay. What's next? Oh, what? They, they see more goblins or are they just talking? I know that I need to get deeper in the grove, but I'm confused what that means. I get, Do I need to go into this area that's like in the black? Somehow? Go back where I came? But yeah, Citizen Sleeper is very TTRPG. Uh, I think you want to go north for these quests, but I'm not sure. What are the quest markers north on the map? Let me see. I have not been checking my quest markers, so I'm silly. One of them is this uh, goblin who I'm supposed to let out, and then she's going to put me in contact with her friend who's a healer. She's going to give me her plug. Um, find the, the Givyanki Kresh. Um... Lazel told us that the Githyanki should be able to cure us if we can find one of their crushes. Someone named Zoro. Zoru, not Zoro. <laughs> should be able to know more. So does that mean that's where the person is that I should talk to? Is that's where I got left off? Um, yeah, and here's where I got um, speak with Kaga, find the healer Netty, find Arabella. I guess I could go north, maybe over here. I don't know what stopped me last time um so that's where you want to go 
Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. So I'm going kind of the wrong direction. I gotta go back. Oh, I'm like stuck on some rocks. I'm all the way the fuck over here. Um, Disco as Elysium has a bunch of stuff all in one that I enjoy, but I haven't gotten to it. I think it might be a watch rather than a play for me, like BG3. I, I think it's really worth sticking with, personally, because there is just so much kind of little storytelling magic from... It's that Ludo... It's the opposite of Ludo narrative dissonance. It's Ludo narrative assonance. The gameplay mechanics match being a drunk and confused freak who, you know, Harry is the human can opener, which means he, he gets people to open up about, um, about their, what they're hiding, about what they know. And he does that in the same way that you do as the player by throwing everything at the wall that you possibly can get, you know, asking them about everything you learn every time you do learn a new fact, coming back to the same person and opening up new dialogue trees and just like drunkenly harassing people into telling you what they know. Um, and that is most satisfying, I think, as the experience of playing it. But it's also the most frustrating, right? So, so that's that's my thoughts on that. Um, but I un also understand there's only so much time in a fucking day, um, and often I watch something rather than play it. So, so I also get you at the same time. Okay, so I think I need to go around here and then go, like, into this little crevasse. I'm, I thought I talked to everybody in here, but I, the marker says that this is where I need to be, right? Okay, I'm going the right way. Thank you. I've never learned to converse with your kind. There's the guy interviewing the bear. Okay, so now I just need to go to the right. I guess there's someone over here. Is this? I thought I talked to everybody here, but rights of Thorns Idol. Okay, so that's more or less where I need to be. Oh, okay, stone door. Whoopsie. Missed that the first time. Thank you. And here we are, deeper in the grove. Oh, oh no. Please. I'm sorry. This is oh. madness, Koga. She's just a... A what, Raph? A thief? A poison? A threat? Oh my gosh, she's so bigoted. I will bigoted. imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Imprison her? She's just a She's child. A parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Ooh. Come, Koga. The snake Would is like too detailed. Idol? Surely. Do it. Oh, uh, I didn't really watch Lost like that. My family did, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to use my OP persuasion skills to say, hey, leave her alone. Oh, thank God I have charisma, right? Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Out, thief. Oh, this poor baby. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Ooh. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson. Halson isn't here. Keep his Halsin. name off your tongue. That's Let the mayor. Tila pierce it. Oh, I hate wolves. Oh, as you are frightened of wolves, she's, she's got a phobia. Everyone's frightened of something. My fear's hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's 
Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. She's got trauma. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Oh my god, I almost forgot about the tadpoles. It's just something I have to live with. I, I get it. I get it. Trauma happens. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay. Uh, are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? I'm sure. Okay. Sorry. Tell me about your fear of wolves. Let's just get into all of it. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. Don't be surprised if I'm reluctant to face any more. Okay. Uh... Everybody's got their own fears. I won't really? judge yours. Some might think it makes me a liability. Oh, we all got liabilities, case, baby girl. It's not something I want to dwell on just now. Okay. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. No, I'm going to leave you alone for now. Okay. Uh, highly recommend ro uh, romancing Halsen for real freak shit. Oh, okay. I assumed he was like an old man, but that's uh, even better if that's. I hope that's true. I didn't. I also didn't realize I could romance people that are not just my my roommates. Um, but that's cool. I need to Look at the work. puppy. The puppy's cute. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That cargo seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let the snake replace our leader. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? How did Kaga take over the whole grove? She That's is first I druid in Halsin's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Mm. If no one's looking for Halsin, I could do it. I have to run, but have fun. Good, good one, everyone. Thank you so much, Anarcho Hobbit Hobbitist, for the help. Very appreciated. Would you? I would give Have anything day. to see Halsin return home. Hmm. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. I gotta hustle a little bit. Halsin you know. is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. I'm assuming that means he looks very Come druidy. Sooner. Stay close. Where'd the wolfie go? Oh, here he is. Sorry, Shadowheart, but I am going to talk to the wolf because he's adorable. Oh no. Animal handling. Try to get closer. Yeah, I'm you already know. You already know I got to. Oop. Not a success. I'm gonna get bit, but that's okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna take your guys' shit over here. Just to comfort myself. Oh no, that just turns it on and off. Grimy report. Paw prints suggest an animal walked across this entry, smudging everything except a few words. Animal scouts sent eastern town. Villagers possibly still alive. Violence. Or violent. Someone has written Shadow Curse at the top of this page, and a number of notes below. Trees infected, but still alive. Malicious component to underlying magic. Resists removal. Attempts to infect caster. Range and severity of curse suggests divine origin. Umbral characteristics and vicinity to Sharn's temple suggests goddess herself is responsible. Temple of Sharn. Where? A devil child. What's this about One a curse? Who tried to steal hmm. from us. Are people still, are people still being racist over here? Study of the Sword Coast. Scrapped of a larger map, fastened to the page with a fr with fragrant sap. Someone has written "Tainted by Curse" above the lands to the east, beyond the mountains, on the road to Baldur's Gate. So a lot is leading us east potentially. Please Later leave. On. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Dude, I'm. I was welcomed in here, and I'm doing shit. This is locked. 
Just keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. All right. All right. I'll behave. Crimes. Get caught and you might find yourself in a prison cell. Let's go talk to the mice. Rats. We're rats. Chickity chick chick. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Drink alcohol. Cheers. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A I'm the big rat. I makes the rules. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Let's see what I kind of trouble we can get into. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the right is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Mm. Zelvler believes his people will perish and on the mine road. perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone mm. before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. I really don't like you. Oh my god, attack? That seems a little a little much. I'll speak to Zavler, but that doesn't do mean I'm gonna do what you speak. want. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Ooh, I don't like her. I don't care for her at all. I'm gonna take some shit out of her baskets. Hefty book is labeled 1371 and stamped with an elegant stag across a dark green background. Uh, looks like this is a record of maybe of just recent events or sent two druids one of the newer recruits up north village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive the next winter a group from Baldur's gate arrived they've set up camp on the edge of the forest two bears and a fox came by their territory has been burned down half the fox's cubs died paying this new group a visit tomorrow visit did not go well after telling me where to shove it, they said they'd cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Mudslide did the trick, buried half their farming equipment, and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here, sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of a red cloak, I'm contacting the House of Sylvanus. And I think that's something that uh, Shadowheart mentioned was Sylvanus as well. All right. Let's go over here. There's Nettie. Perfect. Let's see if she can give us some kind of lead on getting our brain worms fixed. Let's see what I can take. I see you. Oh, she's working on a bird. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. This may be There. Oh. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. So sweet. What was it you needed? Uh, healing. Looks like I came to the I right do person. What I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Look at my ear, sweetie, you or my eyeball. Healthy, you know? A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Something crawled into my eye. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles? Hmm. It, the weird thing is it did not look like a tadpole, so it's annoying me that they keep calling it that. It looked like a little little maggot, a little a little sandworm. 
I'm watching the last season of Supernatural and Dean is wearing a keffiyeh. What the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't know he was woke like that. That's great. <laughs> I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Okay. You need to be quick. This way. All right, I'm I'm following you, sweetie. I'm a little relieved you're not tattling on me for having mind flare disease. Cuz it seems like something this community this one would had the same problem not as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Oh, another twink. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The drow and I have the same kind of parasite. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. Hmm. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. Mm. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. What are you going to do with that stick covered in spines? What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Hmm. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? She's trying to stab me and kill me before I turn into a mind flayer. Or she's going to put that thing in my eyeball. It might. It might? I'm what are you telling, telling you me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? I mean, yes. Hmm. What is the response least likely to get my face stabbed with that spine? I can merge my mind Victims with anyone infected. can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Uh, I feel like if I say that it's a mind flare, that's not going to go well for me. Um, you're asking a lot of, of questions. I am. Lives are on the line, and not just yours. So tell me, where'd you get that thing? Hmm. Cure me first, then I'll answer all the questions you want. To hell's with it. Oh my god. I don't want to kill her. Uh, I don't know what my stats are. I don't know if I have good dexterity or... Oh, let's do a community poll. Okay. Uh, what do y'all think I should do? Should I dodge? Should I intimidate? Her, or should I attack her? I really don't want to do that one. Um, if you're on... Oh, don't, God damn it. <laughs> Trolling. <laughs> I should have known. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Moiter, no! <laughs> 7BNJYR. I don't want to moiter. If you're on desktop, you should be able to vote right now. <laughs> Someone else, please. <laughs> I really don't. I like her. I understand. Okay, 50-50. Intimidation. <laughs> Get your votes in, y'all. <laughs> I'm not I'm not duty-bound right now to these votes. Maybe we could make it like a redeem or something. Um, I don't... I like her. I understand why she feels like she needs to protect her community by killing me because I am infectious and I'm going to turn into a mind flayer, but... Um, okay, I'll try Intimidation. I don't know that I have good. Oh, I do have a good bonus on that. Charisma. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, I biffed it. Failure. She doesn't hesitate, moving quickly. 
Before you realize what's happening, you feel a burning scratch on dance. your hand. There. It's done. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. Oh, God damn it. Is there an antidote? She's not going to tell me. I can't risk you turning. You'd kill us all. Damn it. Give me the goddamn antidote. I won't. I can't. Let's see. Deception maybe would use my charisma. Yes, okay. This is a high difficulty roll though. Oh my god. Oh. I am not rolling well today. Fuck. Critical failure. I respect hope. <laughs> Good game. You can't order me to put everyone's lives at risk. Oh, let's try another deception. I have important information. Okay. This is doable. Ooh, yes. Ooh. 20 smackaroos. Big success. Gods above. It's a risk. But maybe you deserve a chance. Give me that All juice. Right. Master Halson did say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. Yeah, I don't have any sh shrimptums yet. this is a vial of wyvern poison. It's quick and painless. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I I swear, sure, sure. I yeah, hope whatever. it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. And here's the antidote. Do not mix those two up. Hmm. I spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly there's dozens of them. Yeah, throw it back. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Hmm. Well, I will because tell you. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. <laughs> Loading up my own save to quench my bloodthirst. I know, I feel too bad. I like her. I'm being I'm playing it like pretty like middle of the road softy so far. I'm revealing my my weakness. Just tell me if there's you a cure or cure not. What you don't understand. And as much as I know about mind flares, I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Maybe it's fine, you know? Maybe it's just like how most HPV infections are not that big a deal. They just kind of chill out. Uh, you said you were tracking other victims. Did they Hard change? To say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When mm. Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined okay. on the spot. That's where Whatever Halson he went. found there, he didn't make it back. Uh, you think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can mm. find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Could you use the antidote on the Mind Flayer boss guy from before? I've not come across this person before. Oh, really? I assumed that I was kind of on on the predetermined path for the, the game. I thought I was pretty on the rails early game stuff. Uh, do you mean the one you find on the ship? Who's like... No, wait, he wasn't a boss. The one, like, on your way off of the ship when it's that you just like kind of dodge that fight and and go past to like take over the helm is that who you mean um perhaps he can save your life uh i'll find halsey thank you it would mean everything to the grove to me i wish i could tell you more 
But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. I'm making a lot of oaths to a lot of people, lady. The one laying on the ground after you land on the beach in the middle of the Smo room. Hmm. So was he already dead? Oh, this is just a place to sit. This is not bad. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. What vessel? What vessel? I missed it. Steal the basket. Anything else for me to steal around here? No. Hmm. Stone tablets. Stone tablets. Looks like most of this is stuff I cannot fuck with right now. Beautiful wolf statues. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a ton else. I could pick this mugwort. Let's do that. Surely that's useful. Salts of mugwort. Okay, great. Oops, didn't mean to talk what to you right want? now. Not right now. Just trying to gather this mugwort. Don't mind me. Okay. It doesn't look like I can do anything with the drow right now either much as I'd like to. All right, Nettie. You you have my respect. I understand you were just trying to keep a quarantine and I'm thankful you gave me a chance. Let's go in here. So I think if I'm understanding correctly, we're going to need to go east pretty soon to the Siloon place or Saloon. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Oh, quit. Quit with the racism. Y'all are driving me crazy with that. Lots of stuff I'm not allowed to steal or plunder in here. <sighs> Can I go back here? Is there anything? Not really. Okay, let's see. Doesn't look like there's any other any other markers over here. Let's look at this plaque. Oh, okay. There's no need to jump like that in darkest hour a concord made twixt harp and wild against the shade beautiful harp and wild you recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers but the details are vague hmm. it a child a devil save. Child, one who tried to steal from us oh they're still going on yeah, about this that's what matters Kids steal, come on. Doesn't make her a devil. I asked you to leave. Staying will only disrupt the balance of this grove. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Is this on the way out that I need to go? I guess it's on the other side of the door. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I need to talk to Arabella's parents. I think this 
is the back way back. Yeah, here's here's where her parents are. So I've noticed that Lazel is not approving of when you do nice things for the tieflings. I don't know if it's just because I'm being soft or if she's just hates you them too. Don't ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah, anytime. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Okay. Reward. Kamira's locket grants its wearer the ability to cast dancing lights. E evocation cantrip. Let's put that on. I don't have any cute jewelry yet. Alright. So that's settled. Now I need to find Zoru and return to Zedlor. Okay, so there's a lot going on over here. Back in this back in this central area. Heartless bastards. They deserve to have the goblins burn them out. They are dicks. I, I can't blame you. They're being real assholes. I'm not gonna lie. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. I think I already looked in here. That's locked. Okay. Great. Okay, just keep going. So I think I talked to everybody over here. This way is over to the goblin. This is locked. Oh wait, no. I guess I do want to go to the... So Zor is Zoru in this locked thing? Is that right? Hmm. Let's see if I have that right. I wonder when the goblins will come. Yeah. So this. Come on, just move. Someone's saying in there. I can kind of see in. There's somebody in there. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Hmm. I can see in. This is ridiculous. Can't talk to them. Looks like there's a way through the back. Or maybe not. Maybe that's just a way out the back. Hmm. See if there's a key in this backpack. Nope, just a carrot. And a potato. Shame the goblins didn't kill me too. Hmm. Sad. I'm low on my visual calculus, just like in Disco Elysium. I can pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. Oops, did not mean to do that. Another, another rat. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Are you, are you just talking to yourself? Okay. That's cool. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much. Please leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. I've had some time to think since we last talked. 
can't say I'm enjoying it much. Goblins will come. Okay. Doesn't seem like we're got much to talk about right now. That's fine. Um Alright, so there's that. That's Saza. I can go over that way too. And after that I think I'm gonna need to start heading east. Or something. Hello, May Valence. Playing a little Baldur's Gate today. Oh, there's another door right here. I've gotten really hooked on this fucking game. Started a couple days ago. And now I just can't be stopped. Oh, look at this bear statue. Pretty. There's Zevlor. All right, let's talk, buddy. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can yeah. risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Hmm. Can you delay you the ritual? What they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Yeah, Corga's really uh, fucking up. A Let's get rid of her. Thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga within striking distance. Hmm. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. Oh shit! I um, I could poison her. To get What's these people to, to Baldur's Gate, everything. I'm still hoping Corga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Hmm. I'm. No, I'm open to the possibility. Yes, of course. Invasion plans. A lot of territory to cover before Baldur's Gate, and any cure found there. An aging map of Eltigard and its surroundings. And goblins marked on the map. Travel won't be easy. Mm, the cities of Baldur's Gate and El Elturel are both marked, but it's the wilderness in between that's covered in notes, symbols, and ciphers. The freshest ink mark. Marks pictographs of goblins and gnolls soon gathering in the forests and hills nearby. Hmm. Thespian's <laughs> memoir, oh boy. The greatest joy of my life hasn't been the acting, but becoming. When you choose a character to play, you don't just wear a mask. You take a little of their soul for your own. Whoever you are in your heart of hearts changes, if only by the faintest moat. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Yeah. Yeah, honey, seems like you do. I can't loot any of this shit. Any word on what we discussed about Korga? Uh, not yet. I'm going to try. I'm going to see if I can kill her. Seems pretty risky, but let me see if I can get get close to her again. If it's not that, then I have to go east where the where the mayor went. Is this the way back to No, that's the way out. Yeah, I need to go down here. Here we go. Do, do, do. 
Definitely gonna have to save before I try to assassinate this political leader. I should probably heal too, shit. Do another short rest. Heal 50% of your hit points. Let's try. There that helped. It did, didn't it? I smell drama amongst these so called adventurers. Is that what you're. Oh, that's the. Very salacious reporter. Oh, look at that beautiful deer idol. Ooh, I love that. I love that shit. Nothing for me here. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to save before I try any shenanigans. We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. She's level 5. 65 health. I sent you to Zevlor. <laughs> this right must be born of powerful magic. Zevlor wants you removed. I'm here to see it done. Oh. Uh, I'm not trying to be that overt the about it. Of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, let me leave for a second. You might be right. I might be due for a level up. Thank you. Um, 17B. Oh, yeah, I have a level up. Shit. <laughs> this interface. I miss a lot of stuff. Thank you. I'm going to need all the levels up I can get. Gained a passive meta magic. Class features, level 2 spell slots, gain to spell. Alright, spells. Alright, let's see what we can get at the spell store. Blindness, blind a creature. Blur, attackers have disadvantage. Cloud of daggers, conjure a cloud of spinning daggers that attack anyone inside. I, I tend to want offensive spells. Crown of madness, make people crazy. Darkness. Lots of like obscuring and hiding things. Grant a creature the ability to see in the dark. That's that's useful. And it lasts all day until you have a long rest. Detect thoughts. That is something has that has come up a lot uh, in a lot of skill checks. Enhance ability. Enlarge. Make a creature <laughs> larger or smaller to affect their weapon damage. That is silly. Gust of wind. Hold person. <sighs> Touch a creature to turn it invisible. Knock. Unlock an object that is held short, shut by a mundane lock. Oh, that's useful. Create three illusory duplicates of yourself. Teleport to an unoccupied space you can see. Ah, oh, this is fucking tough. A lot of these sound good. I'm going to do detect thoughts, though. Because I know that's going to be useful. All right. Careful spell. Allies automatically succeed saving throws. Double the duration of conditions. Targets the spells that require the saving throws have disadvantage. Spells that cost an action cost a bonus action instead. You can cast spells while si silenced. Uh, I'm going to do careful 
spell. Except. Nice. I'm gonna need all the juice I can. Level up. Let's see, do I want to switch out any level 2 spells now? These are all level 1, so if, other than uh, Prayer of Healing, so probably. Impact Wounds, Guiding Bolt, Lead, 5 Healing. That's better, so I'll do that. Lesser Restoration, Cure, Creature from Disease, Poison, Paralysis, and Blindness. These seem better. Rewarding Bond, so that's like a shield or a resistance. Protection from Poison, Calm Emotions. Humanoids can't be charmed, frightened, or become enraged. Old person. That seems useful to have. Oh wait, prayer of healing, that's better. I already have that, okay, got it. Spiritual weapon. Let's get rid of this and put in spiritual weapon. Soundproof sphere. Blindness. Enhance ability, huh? This is tough. I think that's good for now. What you got for me? Anything? Maneuver. Direct an ally to strike a foe. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 of damage. That sounds good. Distracting strike. Invasive footwork. Let's do distracting strike. Goading attack. Go the uh, target into attacking you. That might be useful because these twinks keep getting knocked out. So send a superior guard to make an attack that deals an additional one d8 of damage. Menacing attack. Yeah, let's intimidate people. <laughs> uh, precision attack. Pushing attack. Grant an ally eight temporary hit points, bolstering their resolve. That sounds kind of good. Repost. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend a superiority die to retaliate. Yeah, tripping people over would also be good. Great. Gonna need all the help we can get. You got anything for Asterion? All right, yes. Oh, we got a couple of things to pick for him. Great. Acid Splash, Bone Chill, Poison Spray. Ooh, that sounds good. That might be good. Let's do that for now. Shocking Grasp. Blade Ward. Only take half the damage. Friends. Gain advantage on Charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. In higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. Dancing lights. That would be helpful, since I didn't take the sea in the dark one. Infuse an object with an aura of light. That seems kind of similar. And this lasts longer. We'll do that. And then spells. Charm a person. Prevent someone from attacking you. Color spray, spray, which blinds. Disguise self. That That's just too uh, performative, I have to. Tasha's hideous laughter. 
Leave a creature prone with laughter. This is like Joker mode. Sleep. I don't know this game at all, but I have a crush on Asterion. Male Valence, you and everybody. Everybody loves this tortured bisexual uh, freak, for sure. <laughs> and and I like him, too. But there's other people I'm going to try to romance as well in my party. I'm going to disguise self, and I'm going to charm person. That's just all just for the theatrics of it all. Learn spells. You can add a wizard spell of your choice to your spell casting repertoire. Burning hands. Ooh, good damage on that. Grease. <laughs> Shield. Most of these I've seen already. He's the only thing I knew about this game before watching this. Yeah, everybody's obsessed with him. He's like the Sephiroth, but not not like bad, bad. Ray of sickness. Protection from evil and good. Tasha's hideous laughter. This one does a lot of damage. Burning hands or um, there's another one that does a lot of damage. Ray of sickness. Burning hands. Let's do ice knife because that does even more damage. I'm a simple man. I just like maximizing the damage. All right, let's save and then let's fucking kill this woman, <laughs> this religious fanatic. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Zevlor wants you removed. Oh, a stereo. To arms, that no parasite live. Oh fuck, we're about to fight. Oh. The time has come. Remove the outsiders. Oh shit. This is not going to go well. Oh, shit. Oh, piss. Oh, we're already off to such a bad start. We're not ready for this. Can I use a sneak attack on her? Okay. Can I, can I just run back a little bit? Not enough resources for that action. Shove, dip, jump, dash. Yeah, let's hide. Shadows. Quickly. Did that count as hiding? <laughs> Alright, end turn. Oh no, he's attacking me too! No, Louie! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, get wrecked. Oh shit. I... I was not planning on... Oh, it's it's Loic. My bad. Not not Loic. Uh, I was not planning to have to fight you, dude. Um, I should have known better. I'm going to heal myself first. And now... I'm going to try this menacing attack on you. I hope you're afraid of me now. Because I need you to be... Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's use extra attack. No, oh, maybe that's stupid. Oh, well, it's too late. Uh, let's see. Menacing attack. Menacing attack. Distracting strike. Trip attack. Oh, yeah, we could trip him. Let's try tripping him. Okay. Is there anything else I can do? No. I'm gonna just run away a little bit. Oh, fuck. You don't turn your back on someone when you're fighting them. I, they told me that. Fuck. Oh. I forgot that you're not supposed to do that. Can I still run now? Yeah, okay. Enter. <sighs> this is brutal. This is brutal. What do I got? What do I got for her? I could try a firebolt. I could try magic missile. Bone chill. True strike. Acid splash. Seems like magic missile. Oh, 100%. Let's go. Didn't do much. That's not good. Could shove someone. What are my odds of success on shoving? No. Very low. Very low. 
Never mind. How do I exit out of that? Can I just jump away? I'm just gonna jump over here. And uh, I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Oof. I wish I had a healing spell that would work on multiple people. But I need to work... Lazel can heal herself next turn if she doesn't die. So who should I heal? Asterian or, or Pevin? <laughs> Cure wounds. Healing word. Wait. Oh yeah. Healing word is the only one I can use because that's too far away. So cure wounds on... Who who's who's suffering the most? I guess we'll do we'll do Pevin. Not much, but it's something. And then what else can I do? Can I do any attacks? I could inflict wounds. Not bad, girl. Not bad at all. Now I'm gonna get hit if I run away, though. Provokes attack of opportunity. Uh, fuck. Okay. End turn. Oh, she dropped her weapon. No. That's not good. How do I get my weapon back? Ugh. Firebolt. Sneak attack. I could probably sneak attack him. Oh, I missed. Oh, he is missing a lot. I, I do not like that. Not one bit. Let's shove. Let's shove him. Not done well at all. Uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Run away, yeah. No, no kidding. Fuck. Okay, you missed. Oh, why can't... Oh, I can't do... Oh, I have to short rest before I can use that one. Fuck. God damn it. That was dumb. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Lacerate. How much health does he have? Three. Okay, I can kill him. I can kill him dead. Sorry, dude. I didn't want to do it to him, but you know I had to do it to him. God, I should have done a long rest and gotten back some of my shit before I did this. Non lethal. No, not enough movement. Okay. Pommel strike. Let's just go over here. Uh, not enough movement. Yeah, I can't get close enough to do that. And I can't shove. Yeah, no, I'm too far away. Let's just go over here. Uh, how much health does she have? Okay, we're halfway. Can I use a healing item on someone else? Yeah, I can use it on her. We don't want to lose her, and she's pretty low, so I'm going to use this potion on her. Oh, fuck. It didn't let me. Fuck. Shit. That's not what I meant to do. Ooh. Can I use a potion on her? No, I used it on myself. God damn it. Okay. Ooh, fuck. Firebolts. Let's do another magic missile on her. 100%. That's great. Concentration broken. That's great. My health is pretty good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little closer, but not too close. Cause that's all I can do. I need to find a way forward. And just uh, and turn, cause I can draw some some hits. You're the Thanos of gay people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> some piece of Twitch. <laughs> I'm I'm doing it pretty uh pretty bad. If I dare say so myself, I gotta heal myself. Ooh. Oh, that was not much. I might need to heal myself again. The twink is 
you know, in a better position. And I'm gonna just uh, get back a little bit. Oh no, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh shit, okay, now I'm gonna run. <laughs> God. Don't turn your back on the enemy. <gasps> oh shit, now she's a wolf. Oh no, and she has a phobia of wolves. Oh no. And the wolf has, has 18 health. Okay, that's not that bad. I should probably heal myself. Okay, what's what's the most I can do here? Firebolt, hamstring shot, range attack, poison spray. Can I reach her with that? No, that's not great odds. That's better odds, 60%. Ice knife, that's pretty good. Uh, only 50% chance. Oh, none of these are great. None of these are good at all. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, no, that's, wait, what is this? Disengage, okay, no, I don't want that. I'm a wimp, but I can't be that much of a wimp right now. Ooh, good job, buddy. Ooh, you hit her. You did good, dude. Turn. All right, Lazel. Distancing strike, trip attack. Yeah, let's try distancing strike. Yes! Oh, she's out of wolf mode, and now she's all fucked up. She's still got some health, though. But that's okay, because I have one more move I can use on you. Ooh, oh shit, you saved your ass, but you did take two. Oof, she's bleeding. We're really gonna make this, you guys! This is exciting! So much for peace. Yeah, so much for peace indeed, dude. Uh, let's see, what can I do that's gonna do the most damage? 40%. 40%. Why is it such bad odds when I'm right here? 25%! Target is too close, okay. 100%. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh my god, we did it. Yay. Oh, we killed the the fucking um the fucking religious fanatic. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Ooh, I didn't I feel bad about killing this guy, but but I had to. Oh, that was exciting, you guys. Oh, I'm getting into this game. And now we have a key um, that I'm sure is going to be useful for lots of things. Got a healing berry, get some leather armor, and a new piece of jewelry. Whenever the wearer is healed, their weapon becomes coated in magic and deals an additional one to five, one to six poison damage. Hell yes. Ooh. Maybe I'll give that to Lazel since she's doing the most damage most of the time. Send to Lazel. Here's a little necklace for you, sweetie. I really am the Thanos of uh, gay people. Oof. So I probably should go to camp. Oh, there's my weapon. Getting late for me, gonna head out, but have fun. Thank you, Miv Valence. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good evening. Have a good sleepy sleep. Uh, let's see what here. Shadowheart might not have anything equipped anymore. Yeah. I think she had a weapon, but All right. what now? I'll send it to her. Send to Shadowheart. Yeah, it looks like she, something she can carry anyway. A scroll of detect thoughts. Is this a thing that I... Oh no, I just see that's just a usable item. Alright. So I think I'm probably in for some bullshit the second I step out this door. Considering I just killed their like, I'll give it a 
religious figure. But here's hoping. I really thought she was going to be more powerful than I could handle. I was intimidated by her, but... The ritual has ended! There's still some, uh... Some magic going on around this idol, but... Might be useful. So I guess we've officially sided with the... With the tieflings. Breathe deep and move. Ooh. Looks like this stuff's left behind now. Oh, some uh oh. <gasps> Uh oh, some shit went down while I was Let's have a look. While I was doing my slaying. Oh. The Ellen DeGeneres lady died. Oh. This old lady died. Oh, I might have fucked up bad. Oh man. You're carrying too much or unencumbered. Your movement and rolls will be negatively impacted until you drop some items. Okay. Great, let's go into inventory. Is there a way to like select multiple items? Yes. A lot of this seems to be stuff I don't need that's pretty redundant. I'll keep the potion. Oh, that armor. I need that armor. Hello. Most of this is redundant, so I can drop these items. Drop items. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are not useful. I hate inventory management. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Let's see what they got here. Okay. All right, from now on, I can't just take everything all the time. So clearly there was a big fight that broke out. This Seems ox. Like a good moment to talk. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Still not going to share your secrets with me, I see. Strange Ox. Looks like the game's getting a little chunky right now. Might need to restart. If it stays that way. Okay, where do I want to go? I want to go back to that door. So that's like over and around. Yeah, it's kind of chunky. Mm. This is where I want to go. Maybe I can start selling stuff. So everybody's kind of dead right now, so. Oh yeah, all the tieflings have died. Oh shit. This might have been a bad idea. He's probably not even here anymore. Yep, they left. Oh shit. Everybody died because of what I did. Who would have thought that killing a major political figure during a time when the official leadership was gone would lead to unrest? <sighs> Who could have foreseen? <sighs> God. 
Everybody's fucking. Oh, wait, that's Zevlor? Oh. So much for that. Steal. Steal that key. Send to Asterion. We don't need the rest of this. But actually, maybe somebody else might need it. We'll send to... Send to Asterion in case he needs it. Fuck. Oh, there's Tusk. Let's take the meat. We'll need that for camp. Oh, jeez. I really fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. Everybody that we've met. This is the bear that I gave that fish to. To get access to the elevator. Holy shit, let's see what Asterion thinks about all this. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Mm. Yeah, this game is chugging. He has nothing to say to me. Alright, leave. Looks like I might need to save and restart. Let's do that. Save. And then we'll just close this out real quick. <laughs> Loading all those dead bodies. Fucked everything up. Looks mm -mm. like it's updating in the cloud. Just relaunch it. <laughs> Turning the game off immediately made my computer span relax after I was freaking out. I'm already getting the sense that this game is just so incredibly wide open. I had seen this in all the reviews, but there's so many different directions in which you can take it. It It's wild to imagine how much work must have gone into making this game so that it can have so many different outcomes and have that real experience of playing a role-playing game where you get to really just decide what happens for yourself and take it in directions that are not necessarily the prescribed plot line for you. It's pretty nuts. Well, now that Zevlor is dead, and basically all the tieflings that I did this in order to save are dead. Uh, it's a very different calculus now. Oh, now I'm encumbered again. Just give this to, give that to Shadowheart. We'll drop that item, that's useless. We might need that, I don't know. We'll drop that. Oh, thanks Art, for hanging out, Artistic Bum. It's been fun so far. Hopefully I'm not encumbered anymore. Okay. 
Okay. Ask the goblin priestess for help. We learned that a goblin tribe. Okay, yeah, that's who I talked. Oh, I wonder if she's still in the jail. She probably, maybe she escaped. We have learned that a powerful druid named Halzen hasn't returned from an expedition into goblin territory. He might be able to help us. Okay, let's see here. Save the refugees. The surviving tieflings have left the grove. They won't need our help now. Kaga died before the tieflings were forced out of the grove. Zevlor died, but the tieflings still need our help. Kaga plans to seal the grove shut, but the tieflings can't leave until the roads are safe from goblins. We need to resolve this. Okay, yeah, I already did that. Kill Kaga. With Zevlor gone, there will be no reward for killing Kaga. Oops. Didn't really think that out. They'll likely die on the road. God damn it. So a lot of these quest path lines just closed off because I <laughs> fucked up so large. The gro Grove would likely still benefit from Hal uh, Halzen's return. I still, Yeah, I still want to find him because he knows what's going on. Let's see if, um, let's see if Saza is still here before we leave this area. Is that over here? Oh, is that her? Oh no, there's some people over here though, so we should see what the hell's going on. Looks like maybe Saza died though. Oh fuck. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna fight these many people. That's, that's a lot of motherfucking people. Holy shit. All these druids are pissed as hell at me for... And there's bears. Oh, shit. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, we do not want to do that. We're going to load. We are not getting into that. Okay, so we are not going in that direction. What is this? The Blade of Frontiers, hunt down Carlock. Okay, so he's in that direction. Saza looked dead as fuck, so I don't know why that's even still on the map. To be H. Or grow environs. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here this way. Defeat the goblins. Okay, so we need to head in this direction for a lot of different things, like Halzen. I'm not really sure how to get off in that direction, though, except to go back through the entrance we came through and then go up that path. That seems like the best bet. So let's do that. Have to keep going. And just pray that nobody attacks us on the way. Which seems unlikely since we are like terrorists now. more bodies this way it's crazy how I j if I just hadn't talked to Will he would have just died and all of that shit too probably anything of use we'll give that to Shadowheart and we'll give that to Lazel to spread it around Oh, that looks good. We'll give that to Lazel. And these all both look useless. 
What? Those murals in the grove. Something about them seemed to catch your eye. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover. Mm -hmm. Don't need any of that. And... Oh. Arrow of fire. Yeah, let's give that to Asteria. And we'll... Wait, what is this? Yeah, we'll also give that to Asterion. Cool. Alright. Gonna go back the way we came. This was a horrible interlude. Nope, nothing here. Yep. Back from whence we came. Sorry, y'all. We just, uh spawned our way into your whole geopolitical situation and uh fucked things up pretty massively okay so now i want to go to the left Nope, that's not the way I meant to go. Complete. Save the goblin Saza. She must have just died. Oop. Acolyte. Sylvanas Solitude. Heaven is inspired. Mm -hmm. Witness the ritual that seals off the grove from the world. Oh yeah, we did do that. Inspiration may be spent to re-roll an ability check. Okay. Great. I meant to go the other direction, but let's see what's over here. Doesn't seem like much. Seems like it just goes... Oh, there is a ancient sigil circle here. Okay. We don't need that right now. Alright, straight ahead to the other side. We have quite a ways. What is that, west to go? Oh, nope, wrong way. The map is so fucking confusing to me. Is this the way we want to go? Alright, and now we want to go up this way, I believe. So, oh, no. you know about these powers. Will we survive? Simple toxin. Oh, whoa, what's happening? What's happening to us? Why are we getting toxined? Okay, let's get away from this shit. Something's... Something's not good over there. This is all toxic. Shit. How the hell do we get east? Seems blocked off or west. This seems all blocked off. So, does this need to get opened up somehow? Looks so overgrown. Oop. Let me just unplug this phone here. No, okay, this is it. Oh, is this like part of the entrance that I came through, or is this a different one? I'm very not good at wayfinding. Is this the way I need to go? What is all this? What can I just 
go here. What, what way is this? This is where I want to go. I really shouldn't go much farther without taking a long rest. Oh shit, go over here, dude. Okay, good. We're looking for goblin territory, so that's... That's the correct bet. Uh-oh, we're getting a saving. Something's wrong. Edwin, Brianna, True Soul of the Absolute. So these are, are these goblins? Because the Absolute is like part of the goblin religion. There's some mud wart. Well, let's, let's see about engaging them. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. I'm just here to help in a way glows, that makes everything worse. Flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hmm. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any? Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Sure. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Mm. Hold his your stare. Mind is intertwine. You worm see to worm. Siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He's got the worms he, too. Edwin. Ask Ed, of him to vouch for us please. before he died. He's with the absolute now. Your. Your. True soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Oh. Um. And yeah, we're looking for Halsen. I don't know any druids. Hmm. Why are you out here? We know that all too well, sir, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Hmm. Oops. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Well, that would be pretty bad for you. Forget the owlbear, you're still alive, well, so go. And, and just... Leave Ed. I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Yeah, good luck with that. What if the absolute? Same as that goblin Sazer. Curious. Looks like the absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive in a way. Some new religion here. Okay. Can use alchemy to make elixirs. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Interesting. Weird. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value. Something your mind oh. craves. Why uh -oh. let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish Ooh. you, strengthen you. Hmm. Welcome the tadpole's influence. Well, you already know, every time I see the chance to be influenced, I'm gonna do it. Oh! Ooh, am I gonna get another tadpole?
Whoa. So now I just have an extra worm. That's crazy. Got anything for me, Edwin? Sausage, we'll give that to... We'll give that to Gail. We'll give some to Will. We'll give more, some more sausage to Will. And we'll pick up. How would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, so, murder? Or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully. A thousand times over. Hmm. Hmm. Good to know. These little passive conversations are kind of cute. Alright. Save. Since that did not go as badly as it could have gone. And now we are finally making progress into a new area. Oof. Let's pick up this weed. how I have an acolyte background. I feel like I didn't do anything to do with that, but it must be my choices. Oh, here's the alchemy. Filter craftable only. Is there anything I can make? No. Okay. Stop. Wait, let's look at this coffin. Anything to see here? Looks like I can walk across here. Like nothing good is gonna happen to me if I go into a cave at this juncture, though. Just gonna see how much we can scout ahead into this area without getting into any trouble. Here's a dead pig. Exsanguinated boar. Blood drained. Somebody's been here. my back on you if it's all the same hmm. the girls are fighting hmm? what did we just get XP for interesting looks like I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that is different. Rare as can, can be. be. Dripping. Oh, there's a little bit of a s structure oh, over here. Cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. It's like some kind of abandoned. Oh. Oh, there's a bugbear here. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I don't have it in me to fight right now. So, you and Lazel. Oh, hello, anarcho hobbitist I thought you left. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> you, um, 
you missed me really having some uh, exciting shit. I decided to um, kill Kaga because um, Zevlor asked me to. And so I I did. I fought her and I killed her. And I killed um, the, I think, dwarf that was like with her. And then when I walked out of her zone, everybody had been murdered. Uh, Zevlor had been murdered. Almost all the tieflings had been killed. It was exciting fighting her. She turned into a wolf after a certain point and... You know, we we crushed it. I had a few good rolls. It was a pretty good fight. I was I was proud of myself. But then when I saw that everybody had fucking died in the whole area, all these tieflings were just lying dead. I don't know what I did. I don't know how I was supposed to play that and not have them all die. But yeah, I got wrecked. Oh, there's a skeleton over here. Looks like they're laying an ambush. Oh, oh, okay, goblins. All right, let's. There's a bugbear and there's goblins. Let's uh let's check out this skeleton. And then let's like sleep at camp and then we'll hit this shit again. Uh not much of value here. Let's check this box. Shadow Dog. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Oh, he's flirting. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. <laughs> Oh. His tongue, he didn't say it to me. They are chatting up a storm over here. Oh my god, my camp supply is 399 sh things. <laughs> um, I am getting the vibe you are an item hoarder and might be putting off long rests for saving stuff, but a lot of storyline happens during the long rest cutscenes. <laughs> you have uh, read me. Cannot fast. I wasn't fast traveling. I was trying to do a long rest. Oh, there we go. Go to camp. Um, yeah, I am an item hoarder. I put off rest. I, uh, I don't expend resources. Um, I push myself for too long. Um, and it's so funny how a game can also be a projection of your exact issues in real life. Uh, so you got me. <laughs> so let's talk to the boys. <laughs> I'm definitely a hoarder. You are correct. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Mm, I was getting long rest where I was having three plus cutscenes. Well, that's fine, you know. Like, I'm a Metal Gear Solid player. I'm a um, Death Stranding player. So I am used to games where you play for a while and then you get an hour of cutscenes as a treat. <laughs> so that's fine. You know, work hard, play hard. <laughs> All right. Um, tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of the Frontiers? Well, my father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. Hmm. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Hmm. What act could be finer than saving the life? Saving a life. You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Mm. Yet you were chasing a devil in the hells. How did that come about? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the arch devils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Hmm.
What is the source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Discreet. Let's move on to other Boy. matters. What else is on your mind? I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? That seems a little rude, but okay, I'll ask. Vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma days. Respect. Lean in and examine the eye more closely. That seems a little rude. He said By it's for means. lifetime friends. I'd like you to join me. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Uh, Lazel will leave. Oh, wait. Yeah. Lazel will leave for now. This happen. I like Lazel a lot. She's been great. Oh, God, he's, he's a warlock? Oh, shit. I thought, he, I assumed he was a, a bruiser. Never mind. Sharp as ever. I don't have much use for him then if he's a if he's a warlock. The fiend, folk hero. Damn, that's too bad. I, I can't travel with him right now then if he's going to be like that. So let me switch Lazel back out. Oops. I had but one request to speak to Zoru. And you have made a mockery of it. Did I we do that? We travel west. We may yet witness signs of a crash, if you are not so busy ignoring me. Uh, oops, I forgot about the Zaru thing. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Not books, Don't have to tell me twice. Sleeps. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers. Exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. The mm. planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Mm. You can pick up another bruiser before long, you can swap Lazel for... It's not that I have a problem with Lazel. I just wanted Will, but I guess that the won't, full. You'll need won't to make be happening. Uh, you can trade places with Will. Well chosen. Mm, oh, she's smug. She's she's done great by me, so I I'm not trying to, to ask. not trying to leave her behind for a warlock. What's on your mind? Hmm. Nothing to say here. And isn't he also a spellcaster? Like, what? What character class should I have picked instead? Like, because clearly we are are just bloated with magic users right now. Where's Shadowheart? There she is. Study in her book. <laughs> what is it? Let's talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? What did you think about what happened to the Druid that Grove? That place is sealed off to the world now. I don't see the point in dwelling on it anymore. Not while we've our own problems to see to. Mm. How am I holding up in your estimations? You can at least soak up any arrows that are loosed at us. Let's turn to other matters. Alright, what, 
what's what's Asterion up to? Is he over here? Where is he? Oh, there's like a goblin head, or ogre head. Wow. Here's just my mirror. Where is Asterion? I'm not sure if there's a best class really, but more muscle is coming. But if you wanted to be muscle yourself, fighter, lazel, barbarian, unmet companion, and monk are going to be the ones you go with. Okay. Yeah. If I had known, but I did not look ahead at all, which, you know, is also fine, but maybe next time I play, I'll take somebody with a, who can deliver a pounding a little bit. Asterion is just not here. Am I crazy? What is he doing? Is he brooding? Time to press ahead. Okay, this is his little tent is that a bug or is he just not here right now for some reason let me, let me click on him does that mean there's a cutscene with him oh why did he not go to camp why is he still here why is he not at camp <laughs> Why did that happen? Why did he not go to camp? Is that a glitch? <sighs> but so then why was all of the rest of them able to go? Have him walk away a little bit? Okay. Thank you. Hopefully he can stay out of the danger zone and not get caught by any of these goblins or or bugbears. That's weird. So I guess the, the, uh, the map, he must have like just barely been in the danger zone or something. Usually means there's a big battle coming and they don't want you to go to camp. Yeah. Which of course was exactly how my silly ass played it. Yeah, let's, maybe we can go back over here. Maybe bring your main back and then go to camp? Okay. Leave camp. So that put me where... Where Asterion is, I wonder? No. Okay, now everybody's over here. Yeah, we're, we're not in the red for some reason. Uh... Now, if we go to camp, will he be there? Or will I have to go cart his ass over? Yeah, no, he's still in the red for some reason. He's in danger. But we're not. Is it just being buggy? Asterion's just in, like, a triggered state, and the rest of us are apparently completely fine. Well, where is he? Oh, wait, here he's coming. He's coming to join us, finally. All right, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. We missed you. I don't know why you were freaking out like that, but let's all go to camp. <laughs> Let's all go to camp. See, he's still not here. <laughs> he's still not fucking here. 
<laughs> Poor lost twink in a panic. Yeah. He's still in the danger zone. What the fuck? Asteria, and what's wrong with you? Oh, what are you doing? All right. Let's leave camp. Let's just let Asterion drive, apparently. Though it seems like it's fucked up. And is just, like, not detecting. Yeah, okay. So I should just save and reload. So I don't have to restart the game, I can just save. Okay, good call. Thank you. Just save. And load again. Good night, Gay Lord Nito. Thanks for being here. This has been fun. Hope you had a good evening. Sleep tight. I can't be mad at this game for being buggy because it just has so much going on. You know. He's still in a red zone. Oh, shit. Very weird. To be fair, there's worse worse bugs in Disco Elysium. Maybe try talking to him? Okay. <laughs> See if that makes him feel better. <laughs> uh, okay, let me switch to seven. You again. You again. And leave. <laughs> we have nothing to say to each other. He still feels unsafe. He does not feel well. <laughs> he is just in the red. So badly. I don't even know where the fuck I am now at this point. I'm just gonna get us into worse scrapes at this rate. Is this the way we came? I think so, yeah. Let's go over One here. Step at a time. Everybody, let's all just let the twink take a walk because he is feeling stressed out. Yeah, definitely seems like some kind of glitch. Should I just restart? You reckon? Guess I've got to. Ooh. weird so yeah I see on the screen there's one there's a tiefling woman it looks like we're gonna get or no that's the or is that the the devil woman that he was talking about so I guess we don't see what the other characters in the party are Yes, I need to update my graphics card. No, we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> Stretch my legs a little bit. I had my own grit glitch and lost audio for a bit, but yeah, that's the devil he was talking about and the incoming muscle. Oh, okay, so they have existing backstory. Okay. A muscle a muscle woman, you say. I think a lot of regular viewers of this channel will have things to say about that. A lot of appreciators of strong women here. The load times are really not that all that bad. He's still in the red. Look at this. What the fuck? 
What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just sleep at camp without him? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I loved her and used her instead of Lazel because I couldn't stand her and Shadow Hearts bickering. <laughs> Shadow. That's funny. Yeah, try sleeping. Just all of us go to camp and sleep. Oh, now we can't go to camp. Oh, wait, no. We can go. Can't give all right. Now. All right. Long rest. Go to camp and end the day. I don't know if it will let you without him, though. Let's see. End the day. Cannot fast travel right now. Well, I'm already here. Fuck. Oh, shit. Should I load a different save? Let's see how far back I was. This was not, let's see what this, 224, 244. Oh. This was a little while back. The other thing I might try is go, is I'll go back together and then go to a waypoint by clicking on the map. Okay. Zoom. Um, okay, well, I'll. Don't touch me. Okay. Leave camp. Now we go to the map. This should... I mean, if this doesn't make him feel safe... Oh, no. I can already see it's going to be red. He's still over here. Oh my god. Oh, that's annoying. And my last save is was like 20 minutes prior, so I don't really want to give it up if I have if I don't have to. Oh fuck. He is unsafe wherever he goes. He's not well mentally. Is the red, like, even reducing? It doesn't seem like it is. He just feels acutely unwell. Damn, this sucks. This is gonna have me saving all the time out of sheer paranoia that something like this is gonna happen again. For fuck's sake. What's in here? Okay, here we are. We're all together. Can you please just feel safe? Yeah, def save all the time. All right. Oh, fuck. I don't think we really did much. We just navigated over to that other area. I think there's a setting for only keeping like 25 quick save files at a time. Okay. So I need to turn that off if I want to hoard more saves and probably eradicate what little room I still do have on my computer. Okay, we already took this stuff. All right. Let's just... Let's not make that mistake again. We didn't really do anything. We just wandered over here. So... So we can just go to camp from here. All right. You want that on. It will just auto erase the oldest quick save. That way you can quick save a ton and not worry about the space. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let me just talk to everybody again. Hmm? Very well. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, 
cool, cool story. I can just talk through Will a little bit again. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How did you come My to the Blade So of it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. I found him in the field. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember dr proud. No. Angry at the angry at my the frontiers demanded a blade, and so I he Carlax fires raged in Baldur's Gate before. Hey, Medkip. Yes, I just started playing it earlier this week, she was and I am super hooked. And I've been playing Zarya most Zarya evenings this week, and I'm loving it. She fled from my reach. I can't and I'm dealing with a weird glitch right now, so. The damage she a powerful friend with a keen interest in all right. Anything more we should discuss? Noticed your stone um, eyes. It's we already that. got through this. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and karma. Okay, that's all we got to talk about for now is he's still not here. Y'all, he's still not here. He's still unsafe mentally. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, Asterian, get it together. Medkip, I have 250 hours and haven't finished my first run. I'm very slow because full-time student and trying to do all the quests. That's admirable. I can see how this game would be very expansive. Okay, I need to, I need to exit this and fucking try again because this is being way too buggy. Oh my god. Asterion is like highly triggered right now and I don't know how to fix this because now it's been in multiple saves and we're not even close to the danger zone and he won't fucking let me go to camp. <sighs> been brainstorming my next run. Oh my god. <laughs> I... That's the thing about it. There's so many different ways to take this. I can see why you'd want to just dive back in. This is like... This is like the only game you need <laughs> for a long time. Seldarine Dro, Spores Druid. Ooh. Very cool. I really like the aesthetic of the druids, even though I just killed Kaga and uh, Carnage ensued and they killed all the tieflings. And, and it was generally pretty bad. You can be a tiefling druid. All of the conflict that we were seeing. Let me believe, believe otherwise. Half orc monk. That's cool. I just picked half elf because as soon as I saw the twink, I was like, pretty. Okay, Jesus Christ. This is very concerning. Let's load this. Yeah, I like doing conflicting combos. Yeah, it's cool to imagine what the backstory is. Scourge Asimar in an IRL 5e campaign. Oh, very cool. Surprised I didn't go with Dro. I mean, I definitely considered it. I definitely considered it. I definitely liked the look. But as soon as I switched to the half elf, the just like default twink, I was like, oh my god, that's already practically what I want. Um, Watch your back. Look, okay, look, Asterion is already in unsafety mode. He's already fucked up. Oh my god, okay. So I need to do an earlier <sighs> save. Who knows when this even happened to him then? Oh my god. Oops, I almost just deleted that save. Yikes. This is getting really concerning now, because at what point did Asterion glitch? Asimars are like fallen angels, except good. 
that's cool. Do they have like wings, or are they more like uh, biblically accurate angel, angel freaks? I don't know. Don't touch me. Okay. We have diagnosed the problem. Asterion is already in mental unsafety mode. Way long before we got into the zone that we were in. So, this. Aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazel Chucky. They're and still fighting. Understand my need for service. They will help you, but only if. Use your main and go over to him and use the help action on him. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm here. Um, help. Oh, wait, no, I need to switch to me. Target can't be helped. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry, let me switch to Pevin. Help yourself. Ugh, how do I exit this? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, help. This target can't be helped. Radiant wings when he's in radiant mode. Whether descended from a celestial being or infused with heavenly power, Asimar are mortals who carry a spark of the upper planes within their souls. They can fan that spark to bring light, heal wounds, and unleash the fury of the heavens. That's very cool. Hit escape to unselect an action. Okay, thank you. Um, fuck, y'all. The game is fucked up. Um, so now I just need to keep going back in saves to figure out at what point Asterion became glitched. And I'm worried it's probably from the last fight we had. Oh, thank you for, um, for Googling. I appreciate that so much in our Hobbitist. Um, Scourge Asimar are imbued with a divine energy that blazes intensely within them. It feeds a powerful desire to destroy evil, a desire that is at its best unflinching and at its worst all-consuming. Many Scourge Asimar wear masks to block out the world um, and focus on containing the power, unmasking themselves only in battles. Reddit suggests spamming the junk action with Asterion. Okay, good to know. Because he's still, he's still mentally unsafe really far back in this game. So let me, let me go to the most recent save. And we'll just make him jump, I guess. Also wears a mask. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> that piqued my interest. Androgynous bard who barely talks but is instrumentally proficient and charismatic. Oh, that's so, like, quirked up <laughs> autism. <laughs> Another option mentioned is killing him. <laughs> Adding his body to inventory. And then going back to camp. That's concerning. This is very alarming. Okay, how do I kill him? Do I can I attack my own boy? Apparently. Is he going to fight back? Sorry. Oh, he missed. He's good at dodging. I should switch to Lazel. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, Lazel. I meant to take. Target can't be an ally. Okay, not for that time. I'm playing with a bunch of cis guys and my partner, and they're all like, wait, is he a he or a they? And I'm like, oh, whatever. He won't fight back. Okay, cool. That's so evil. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good dodge, dude. This is gonna traumatize him even worse. Oh, I feel so bad doing this hate crime. 
He's got good dodges on this. He disapproves. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Oh, wait, what happened? No, wait, I just woke him up. Shit. <laughs> What did I just do that woke him up? Fuck. <laughs> I'm so bad at this sometimes. Waiting. I crave blood. <laughs> Oops. Asterion is killed. Asterion disapproves. Okay. Now do I kill him, kill him? Actual dead? When you clicked a uh, down companion, it helps them. Try right click. Okay. Nope, she's going to help him again. Oh, no. Let me switch to me. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay. Ungroup, talk, attack, examine. He still feels like he's unsafe. Let's get going. Can't imagine why. I really don't want to have to lose the progress that I made fighting Kaga, even though it had a bad outcome. I was so proud of winning against her. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe he has to be dead dead. Okay. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. He's still downed. Not not deceased. Oh. Oh wait, now he's dead dead. Oh, he <laughs> That was so dramatic. Okay, no, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to take all shit. Can't pick up too heavy. No one stopped me yet. Can't pick up too heavy. I can't pick him up, you guys. I'm not strong enough. Do you think anybody's strong enough in my party? Turns out he still feels unsafe now that he's dead. Okay. Can't afford to stay idle. Oh no, he's naked too. He's still too heavy. Never a dull moment. Yeah, never a dull moment. Oh, nope, he's still too heavy. Maybe. Do you think I can switch out? Do you think one of the other boys could carry him? Let's try Lazel. Oops, wrong thing. Pick up. Oh. Okay. Wow, this sucks, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, so now can I just drop him and like... Enough waiting. I crave blood. Look in her inventory. Drop. Oh my god, did you see that, yo? <laughs> this is such a stupid glitch. Is he still mentally unsafe? Guess what, guys? He still thinks he's unsafe. Oh, so can she revive him? Or do I just have to use the scroll of revivify on him? Go to him. Wait, he can't use that item. Oh my god. He this is this is all gonna be for naught because he still is mentally unsafe. Oh. oh my god, he's naked. He's... Whatever comes, I'm ready. Okay, use the scroll. On. Okay, wait. Escape. Lear I'm learning. I must keep going. I'm learning things. Okay, take the scroll. This sucks dick. No, I'm not trying to target. I'm trying to target the boy. Yes. Oh, he's drunk. Guess what? He's mentally unsafe still. But that inspired Shadow Heart, so that's good. We still can't sleep because he's still mentally unsafe. 
You're a software tester? Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Anarcho Hobbitus. Uh, that all did precisely nothing because he is still. Uh, uh, I, you, you won't believe this. Killing him and bringing him back to life uh, still makes him feel bad. I'm so mad about this. I'm like traumatized. Not as traumatized as Asterian, but. <sighs> all right. I'm going to be pissed as hell if I have to go back to before this battle to fix this. I'm going to be so pissed. This is what I get for assassinating people. Thank you so much for looking up what you can, anarcho hobbitist I... Um, and Medkip too for the tips. Like, I'd be so much more actually pissed if I was just st stuck on this myself. Nope, he's unsafe. He feels unsafe here. Time to rest. Keep a blade close. Oh wait, we all feel unsafe no here. Despite everything. I know. I really want to see how this storyline plays out. Okay, so here in this zone, we all are unsafe. I haven't missed much here. Is this my new outfit? Yeah, that's my new outfit. There, there might still be hope here. We're going to switch to Asterian. Yeah, because we're all unsafe right now, because there's a battle over here. So I'm going to take control of Asterian. So maybe if we all leave together now, he will feel normal again. That's the hope. Because at some point, my other characters started feeling fine. One, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. Um, go over here. Just gonna not... We didn't really get anything useful off of any of these people. <sighs> Uh, uh oh. Okay, we all still feel unsafe. So. That's fine for now. <laughs> Another thing multiple people on Reddit said worked is throwing a grease bottle and having Asterion walk back and forth over it and over until he slipped. <laughs> this is very stupid. Okay, let's. Let's load where we actually want to be. Eight forty-four, twenty-four. Yeah, let's load here. <laughs> I do really want to see this version of the plot line played out. I'm so proud of myself for killing Kaga. It's interesting, even though it's regrettable that all the tieflings died. Um, fuck. Asterion is triggered. Alright, I'm pretty sure I do have a grease trap or whatever. Oop, geese. I might not have any grease. Lots of people in the thread report grease working well for many bugs. So remember that in the future. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Good to know. Lazel had some in our inventory. Oh my god. That might have been a while ago.
This is a better outfit for you. Right? Yeah, better armor. Now we match. Boyfriend. Oh, here's a grease bottle. Um. So do I throw it? Is that how I use it? Let me let me give it to Pevin. All right. What now? So we do have a grease bottle. You want to throw? Okay. Uh, just put it right here. <laughs> is that all the grease? Is it gone? Or is it still here? Oh, they're all falling. Well, that's fine. I had but one request. Oops, sorry. To Zoru, and you have made a mockery of it. We travel west. We may yet witness signs of a crash. We can talk about this later. <laughs> oh wait, I need to make him walk through the grease. If you walk around on it enough, he will slip again. Oops. No, I'm not what trying to make it? people talk. Careful, I bite. Walk around in the grease. Walk around in the grease. Saved. This is what I've been reduced to by this game. This is so stupid. Does anybody know if there's like an easier fight we can get to around here? Maybe. What if I have somebody leave my party? What about that? What if I have somebody take his, his place in my party? Would that fix it? Let me try that. I can't. No, I can't. Wait, hold on. Still alive, so that's progress. I'll walk him through the grease a couple more times. Cause that should bring him back to camp. No one back home will ever believe this. You might as well give it a shot. <laughs> it's the most logical thing to do. Hmm. Oh, she's having a little brewski over here. Good for her. Bruiser with a brewski. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Okay, I'd like you to join me. Sorry, but there's no room for me. You can take Asterion's place. Otherwise engaged. You'll need to dismiss them at a more convenient moment. I'm so mad. Keep safe. This sucks. I've been loving this game and now it, it but it doesn't love me. It doesn't love me back. <sighs> okay. From this point in the game, everybody feels unsafe. My next step would be a computer reboot. <laughs> you, I mean, you're the you're the expert. It seems like it's an issue in multiple saves of the game. Do you think a reboot would really would help? I mean, you understand this stuff better than me, so so you tell me. But everybody feels unsafe at this point. Let's I'm unsafe. Hmm. She's unsafe. Action. She's unsafe. Action. And he's unsafe. So we're going to go from here. If I had just started walking through from here and just stuck with that course of action, we would have already been through. Grease spell on Gale? 
Wait, why would I grease Gale? <laughs> Just to torture him? <laughs> See what happens in a save before the Kaga fight, maybe. I don't want to redo the Kaga fight. I was so thrilled that it worked out. And right now, everybody feels unsafe. Keep your distance, darling. Keep your distance, way. darling. So I feel like there's hope for me yet. Look at his jaunty little run. He's feeling so unwell, but he's putting such a brave face on it. Still unsafe mentally. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? Okay, we all feel unsafe still. If I choose to kill you, you so that's see it. better. This is for information gathering. Is it an issue with the save or some weird load issue in the game? Mm, I see. I mean, I already restarted the game since this started happening. Is this the way I need to go? So, you know about the curse. Is this a different way? I thought this was the way I went, where I ran into that guy. I think, I guess this is it. I'm still acutely unsafe. Okay, now we're safe. We're safe now. Okay, we're safe now. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, we're gonna save. We're gonna save. Oh. Thank Christ. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah, because everybody died. Wait, what is this? This is a totally different direction. Nettie stopped concentrating on Flaming Sphere. She must have died. This is a different direction than I just went last time where I saw the worm guy. Oh, I guess I went up last time. Maybe something with that quest was fucking with it. Yeah, I've noticed that like sometimes if something I've had a few things happen with like a cutscene will like end early because of like a quest thing updating like that seems like that can get very fucky. I want to. I think I kind of want to go back to that other path where that worm situation was. Is that over here? Weren't they over here? Was that like a random event? The dad with the worm? Or have they just not loaded? Let me walk over here and see. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go through this cutscene. Hello, you all y'all gonna follow me or y'all fucked up? Hang on. You're going to be all right. Let's go over here, y'all. Stop it. Yeah, I talked to a dad with a worm here. Just be quick. Edwin. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. And now the game's chugging because of all that I put it through. I don't think he's conscious. Can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. Oh, he's... Oh, now I'm role-playing it as him. Whoopsie. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Ooh, this game makes you work for its... for its greatness. Let me look at the load here. Make sure that I saved what just happened. Okay. Wait, auto save? Now I'm like paranoid. Okay, I got multiple saves, so I can restart if it's chugging. Okay, let me restart real quick. Thank you so much for, for sticking with me through all of this stuff, y'all. This game, my god. It's so good. But at what cost? <laughs> uh, 
We need to grab another drink. Fuck. You can save mid-conversation, too, if you need to. Okay, cool. I'm glad they're not cheap with that. Playtime, 8.9 hours. And one hour of that, complete trash. <laughs> complete garbo. <clears throat> Someday I'll update my graphics card, but not, or my video card driver. Thank you so much, Anarcho Hobbitist, Medkip, anybody who's lurking and is stuck through all of that bullshit, because that was crazy. In the end, we figured it out. Dad with the worm. Well, now I'm going to save all the time and be very scared all the time. He's so pale. Let's move. All right, back to the dad with the one. Very well. You're all right. You're all right. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? <laughs> yes, I'm excited to see what happens post cause you, of death, too. Not a step closer. Oh, it's still slow. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Mm, it's still chugging. Uh, freeze and hold up your hands. He might be a healer, Bry. He might be a bandit. I don't think that's what I did last Why? time. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Worm to worm communication. His stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna. Oh, it's not a dad. It's a brother. <laughs> Yours to shepherd. A brother with a worm. Protect. True soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Rip. <laughs> the faces are loading so slow right now. Ooh. Edward. Ed. Please. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Mm, so they think the worm is a, g a good thing. Or some kind of religious significance. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm... Last time I told them to just uh, 
leave me alone. I'm looking for the druid Halzen. I don't know any druids. What happened to your brother, exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. Okay, we still chugging. The beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. <laughs> the faces are doing some weird shit right now. Oh, forget the owl bear, you're still alive, go. What? And and just leave Ed. Yes. I suppose I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. Yeah, good luck, y'all. Get out get out of here. Oh, they're moving so slowly. Uh my computer is just begging for a restart. <laughs> oh. Let's save. I'm just gonna obsessively like save now. Oh. Oh, I just got entangled. Somebody, somebody help me. Ooh, jeez. Anything of you? Strange power resonates within the corpse. It okay, now we're loading more normal. Looks like. Talking to the worms. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value. Something your mind craves. Yes. Why let its host given go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. That's right. Let your body guide you. Welcome the tadpole's influence. Give in to your hate. Little worm in my pocket. little treat okay is everybody okay all the more reason to rid ourselves of our own uninvited the shadow hunt? okay they're all here great wait do people feel unsafe again alive, so that's progress uh uh oh guys shadow heart feels unsafe now blood. wits and blades always sharp Now Shadowheart feels unsafe. Lazelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Oh, fuck. Oh, so, murder? Is it because of the vines? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully. A thousand times over. How did this happen again? Hmm. Good to know. Asterion's fine now mentally. <sighs> Will I know any peace? Uh, I think the unsafe thing means they you normally it's when there's like a big battle that's about to come up, so the game doesn't want you going to camp. No oh fuck. So it just switched to fucking Shadowheart. It's not better. No time to rest. What the fuck? Let's try this way. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazelle? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. 
They pursued the Nautiloi. Perhaps they were trying to free you. Sit and relax. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. <sighs> Fuck. This sucks ass. I thought it was fixed, but it was just somebody else got fucked up. This definitely suggests some kind of deeper issue. Hmm, let's see. Oh my god. Let's take these stupid potatoes. Who even cares anymore? Oh. Oh, something's about to go down over here. A bunch of dead adventurers. Okay. These people don't pose an, a threat to me of any kind for some reason. I wish we could at least have given them a proper burial. Game's chugging again. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Did you ever long rest after you got it off Asterian? No, because it just switched to her. Every save after we got it off Asterian. It, the problem just happened to her instead. I believe. You and me both. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. Left out all the important bits, like beware, treasures beneath a pile of goblins. The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that will pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. Let's just hope this conversation I the temple. shakes at loose. But my mate Brian I just want to get to camp. <laughs> the goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back if you feel like dying. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. All right, hand over the contract. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. She's still unsafe. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's safe. She's safe. He's safe. She's mentally unsafe. Fuck. Let me load all of my saves after we got it off Asterian. Maybe this autosave is okay. Maybe. Let's try this one. It's an hour now. We've been fucking around with this. Ah, fuck. But I would have been even more confused if I did not have help talking through it. I would have been totally fucking lost. All right, here. Let's see Shadowheart. Okay, shut. Nope, she's unsafe. It just switched to a different person. My eyes grow heavy. Best to make camp. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. I'd love to make camp. But I can't. Ahead. Because everybody's yeah. unsafe mentally. Need to keep going. Yeah, that's it. When 
And that's all I got. Okay, so that does suggest it's a deeper issue with the game. Have a good night, Gavin. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun until right now. <laughs> so this does suggest to me, an arco hobbitist that I should restart everything, including my computer, because I can't... It, it's not specific to the character now. It's like a weird glitch in just some character that you're not controlling. Just as an experiment, can I load a save from before today's session? Sure. So before, from before today at all, so not 8-3. Or, er, 3-8 is the one from yesterday. Well, this one I was in a battle already. This one's from today. So, yeah, let's just load this one. Lord Almighty. There's no time to waste. Like it's will be done. Everybody is safe here. for whatever that's worth. And we can go, you know, earlier in today. Wonder if it's from loading into a battle. Well, yeah, so like the, you should be able to do that, but I, like, yeah, so I had the Kaga battle, and then ever since it's been a problem, basically. As far as I can tell. Because here is after the Kaga battle. I'm close to a zone where I could get into a huge fight with everyone, so it makes sense that everybody feels unsafe. Um, so that all makes sense. I think this is right after finishing the Kaga battle. Yeah. So we can look at this one, for example. If it's from loading into a battle, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. But now I've used multiple saves where I'm not, like, in a battle. Like, okay, we're all unsafe here. And that makes sense, because we can potentially get into some more shit over here. Okay, that's all. That's all gravy. Whatever it takes. So this is still a danger zone around here. Worth a try. I'm steering Shadow Heart now as if that's gonna matter when it seems like it's just whoever you're not controlling, some of them stays unsafe mentally. So this is me coming out of having killed Kaga. There's bodies everywhere. If I go down by the jail, I'll get into a huge fight that I cannot handle.
Oh, hi, Tim Tom Ding Klong. Oh, my God. You have missed a whole saga. I killed Kaga, uh, the druid uh, charlatan. All the tieflings got murdered, and for an hour I've been stuck with this glitch where no matter where I go, at least one person in my party um, feels unsafe. Like, I can't go to camp and, like, take a long rest for the night. So I've been, like, stuck with this really weird glitch, just, like, hopping between different saves, trying to figure it out. So the gate is very bald tonight, I'll, I'll say that. Um, yeah, <laughs> it sucks. It sucks ass, and I'm crying, and I'm sad. Oh, oh, send that to camp. Oh, 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 send that to Lazel. I'll send that to camp, whatever. So I've been I've been really struggling give up now. ever since. I don't know what to do. <laughs> We've been doing all kinds of weird play testing shit uh, to try and troubleshoot shoot why it's not working. Oh, there's still bears over here. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, this is the battle. I'm not even remotely getting into that shit over there. That's the battle that I was like, nope. And this is why I'm in, like, mental unsafety mode with all my homies right now. Because that fight could happen at any time. I wonder what the next move is. We've tried all kinds of weird stuff. We've had, like... Uh, we had Asterion, when he was feeling unsafe, walk through a bunch of grease over and over again. We tried killing him, taking his clothes off, bringing him to camp and reviving him, and even in camp he still felt unsafe mentally. Um, me. no time to waste. All kinds of weird shit. All kinds of weird shit. And it was all for naught. Because once we shook it off Asterion and found a way to like walk him out of this area... So that he no longer felt unsafe, then Shadowheart felt unsafe. Careful, I bite. So, <laughs> and we've been loading different saves. We restarted the game. Uh, we had people jumping around. We've done all all that we could. Imagine. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? And it seemed to be related to certain to quest you. stuff. You like not updating, and then once it updated, it seemed to go away. But watch your back. My face protects me. Oh yeah, Pevin's here. <laughs> good old, good old Pevin. You got to keep moving. I just want to go to camp. I just want to tuck the homies in. Everybody's unsafe mentally still. I feel less alarmed if it's everybody having this problem. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Quickly then. All right. Well, beyond your bedtime. Thank you. Okay. We just got a bunch of journal updates. Hopefully that'll do something. Thank you so much, Anarcho Hobbitus. Thank you for sticking around. Uh. I really appreciate try doing your best to help me troubleshoot this and also just keeping me company while, while figuring this out. So you have a great night. I'm going to just let all these quests fucking update. And hopefully everybody... Nope, Pevin's unsafe. Action, not reaction. Oh my god, now it's Pevin who's unsafe. Fuck. Oh my god. Nothing, nothing is doing it. Nothing is fucking doing it. Ugh. This is crazy. Have a good night, Anarcho Hobbitus. Okay. So clearly it's just... No matter what I do, someone in my party that I'm not controlling... Is gonna think that they're unsafe. Even after all that. Hmm. So now it won't let me go to camp. Go to camp. Wait, I'm me. Never a dull moment. Yeah, it's not gonna let me go to camp as myself. Long rest? No.
This is so fucked. This is so beyond fucked. It feels like all I have the option to do is just get into another fight. And hope that I survive it. Is there any load screen you could go through? Um... What do you mean? Or a fight is a good idea. Yeah. I need to find, like, an easy fight. You, not a strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. He might be. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar your mind. Load screen meeting like a door to a dungeon. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's with the absolute. There's um There's one door, but it's back in the area that's still like unsafe, so I feel like that won't fix it. We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. We were looking, but instead we managed. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil. What? I suppose. May the app. Good luck, you fools. Okay. Yeah, if I could just find an easy fight. Same as that goblin. There is a bugbear up here, maybe that I could take, but it seems like it's a bigger fight than that. It calls to you. But yeah, maybe I could hop around. I probably can't fast travel right now either if I'm feeling unsafe. Your limbs move of their own accord. Best why let its host's memories go to waste. The tap. Journal update. You for consorting with us. All the more my name with ourselves of our own. Okay, I've got journal us. updates and I'm still not good. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if... Oh boy. Let's see if that. No, I'm still unsafe. Okay, let me look. It probably won't let me fast travel either. Cannot fast travel from this area. Yeah, because I'm unsafe. I feel unsafe. Um, there's a battle over here with a harpy. There's a bugbear kind of over here that I could maybe get to and just fight. But there's like also a lot of battle shit over there. But I think I'm going to try that. Because I really don't want to have to lose all the progress that I've made so far in this playthrough. Like, a lot of cool shit happened. People suggested, like, on Reddit, Anarcho Hobbit has looked up a bunch of stuff, and on Reddit it suggested jumping around, <laughs> which we tried, walking through Greece, which we tried, killing the person who feels unsafe, dragging their body to camp and reviving them. We did that. Still didn't fix the condition for them. Okay, we can go into this cave mouth. Here, that's a loading screen, right? We're probably get, about to get killed by the owlbear, but... But we can at least try with this uh, loading screen. Maybe everybody's. Nope. I'm still. Blood. No. Never mind. I'm encumbered. Let me send some of my shit to other people. Put this. Put this vest on. Can't send to camp. I'll just send a lot of this stuff to camp right now. Traps, please. 
No, I don't need that long. Can I get down here? Yes, I can. Ooh. Oof. Oh, I just died. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. That's not helping my mental safety problems. And I still feel unsafe, even after being revived. Something is so fucky in this. Nope. You feel the quake okay. of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face. Oh, that's gonna be way too powerful for me to fight. Oh, let's try my charisma to scare away the creature. Oh, I failed. I'm gonna get killed. Uh, yeah, let's roll again. Ooh, yes. Please make this, make my character feel safe so I can go to fucking camp. Back, feathers quivering. Nope, I'm still unsafe. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't slow down. Oh, there's a baby out there. Oh shit. Oh, I just engaged in the battle again with this motherfucker. 91 health. We cannot do this. We need to flee. We need to run away. Oh, fuck. Is there any other way to, like, leave a battle? I'm still relatively new to this. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, dash the fuck away as far as I can go. This has just been a real fail uh, campaign today. Truly, truly wretched from like the high highs of defeating Kaga and feeling good about myself to nothing in the game working since. Oh, it's gonna run after me too. Fuck. Oh fuck, never mind. This is not gonna happen. We're all we're all gonna die. This little baby's so cute, though. Ooh. Where do you see the unsafe status? Um, see here um, on my map, the red in the corner. Um, so you can't... Yeah, this is a tough fight. I'll just load something else because this is confusing right now to look at. Um, yeah, I can go like right here in the forest. I'll show you the problem that I'm running into. So when you're in an area where a big fight is about to start or there's a lot of people and you're not allowed to go to camp, there's like a red around your map in the corner. And for one character, and it keeps changing which character it is, it's just whichever character I'm not steering, one of them, uh, after this Kaga fight, as we leave the area, um, at first after the fight everybody feels unsafe because it's in an area where another battle could get triggered. But as I leave, somebody gets mentally unsafe. So you can see right here on, on my main character in his map in the red corner. So if I try to go to camp, I can't go to camp as him. But if I go to Shadowheart, she feels safe. She can go to camp. 
no problem. Nothing under map, no issues going to camp. Same thing with Lazel, same thing with Asterion. But, crazily, before, it was a different character who had this problem. So here it's Shadowheart who has this problem. Because I wasn't, like, steering her out of the area. And before that, it was Asterion. For, like, an hour, I was trying to fix this problem with Asterion. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you for listening to me uh, opine about <laughs> about the trauma that my characters and I am going through. I've tried so many different things. Okay, so now here, my character's fine. Shadowheart thinks she's unsafe. Lazel's fine. Asterion's fine. And then, <laughs> just to, you know... Just to kvetch, just to complain. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I'm. <laughs> I got a lot of help troubleshooting it from people. This is a known issue, apparently, and a lot of people found other bugs, like walking through grease and various other things. If you'll indulge me. So here, I'm fine. Shadowheart's fine. Lazel's fine. Asterion's mentally unsafe. He can't go to camp. So I think I'm going to just call the stream for tonight and restart my computer and see where we're at. Because it's it's a really weird, fucky issue happening right now. Um, hopefully that'll clear some of the issues out, but I don't know. But... Thank you, everybody who's watched, who's still here. Thank you for being here, Tim Tom, Ding Klong. Uh, sorry you missed a lot of the action. There was a lot of good action in this playthrough earlier tonight, but... Oof, the last hour, hour and a half has just been trying to solve this fucking problem. <laughs> so, so, thanks for hanging out. Um, and I'm probably gonna, probably gonna call the stream for, for now. Thanks. Yeah, you too. You have a good night. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, fingers crossed for me that restarting will magically knock this problem loose. Okay. Have a good one.